Imagine that a new animal moves into your area. It reminds you of the animals you're used to seeing, but it's definitely different. Decades pass, and these animals stick around. You even start to depend on them being there. You and your neighbors realize that you have to decide on some way to manage your interactions with them, to make sure they'll always be around. But without much historic understanding of the species, how do you make wise decisions? This dilemma is a reality in Canada's north, where climate change is expanding some species ranges, like moose in northern Labrador. I'm exploring the role that indigenous knowledge, which is a complex system that has always supported people's ability to respond to change, can have in managing wildlife under these circumstances. I approached my question in two ways. First, I searched for what's been written on indigenous knowledge and wildlife management. What has that role been in the past? What lessons can I learn? Second, I spoke with Inuit knowledge holders in Nunatsiavut, Labrador, where moose have been present for only a few decades. What do people know about moose? What are their values around moose? What should management look like in their opinion? What I found was really interesting. In my search through the literature, I found that most researchers document the way that uh, facts and observations from indigenous people can be inserted into existing science-based management systems. But if you're thinking of indigenous knowledge as a complex system that also includes practices, values, and worldviews, then this approach falls short of representing indigenous knowledge's true potential role. In my interviews, moose hunters up and down the north coast of Labrador told me the what's and the where's and the when's of moose in their area. And this information is useful for managing the species. But it was really the rest of each conversation that I found most fascinating and what is perhaps most often overlooked. It's the reasons why people think that moose are important in their lives, the role that moose play in their cultural and personal identity, ultimately their values. This moose population is changing faster than a person's value system can change. Perhaps resource management systems need to be better aligned with the values of the people who rely on that resource, which in this case are values like sharing your harvest, having a secure source of food, and being able to hunt and pass on skills to the next generation. If wildlife managers ensure that the information and values held by local indigenous communities uh, have a role in their management, then no matter how a particular species changes over time, the management system will adapt for the well-being of the people who rely on it. Thank you.